Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rome. Anyway, we built a mobile Sam down here. I don't think we actually need it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it to sleep, and I'll tell the city to go ahead and do a nuclear device, and then some campus research grants. Who says we don't need nuclear weapons? And then here, we'll do a similar sort of thing. We're going to just queue up a bunch of industrial zone logistics. I think it's time that we got in the direction of ending this game. I think we can go ahead and queue up some of this stuff. That's perfectly fine. But I do think we should uh, proceed to the end game. I'm going to go ahead and rebase some of these guys to fresher and more forward cities. Uh, with the exception of you, who I'll take a, uh, a promotion on you, and I'll rebase you over to there. Yeah, I think I think we've reached a sufficient uh, level in the game now where we can uh, we can just go ahead and get closer to ending the game. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves a builder in here to keep feeding into the Mars Colony project. Over here, we'll just go ahead and upgrade. But yeah, we're pretty close to killing Arabia, so I don't think there's really much that we need to do. This city will just go independent, likely, in a few turns. So we'll just let that naturally happen. <clears throat> and we won't need to worry about it. It'll go it'll go independent by the time we, we win the game. It's much better, I think, to focus our efforts on finishing off uh, Aden, Sanaa, and liberating Palenki. No peace for you. No peace. No peace for you. Yes, let's be friends with Japan. Sure, that sounds perfectly reasonable. I could also purchase a bunch of traders in my capital, which I think I will do. Um, and there is the Mars project. Off it goes. We have completed the third stage of the scientific victory. We only now really have to uh, finish launching the extraterrestrial launch thingy, whatever it's called, exoplanet expedition, I believe it's called. But let's go ahead and pop into our capital. And go ahead and grab a few traders. And that's all of the traders that we need. Okay. Go ahead and build a nuclear device over here. We have an entertainment complex. Let's go ahead and start repairing some of the stuff in here. That seems fine. We'll get the arena and the library. That's okay to me. And we'll queue up the workshop and the sewer in here as well. And then over here, we will queue up the coal power plant, the research lab, and the airport. Just to keep the, I'm just trying to keep my cities busy, really. Um, so let's go ahead and air attack here. Let's start air attacking Aiden, or Aden. Now, where did I put my other one? There you are. Awesome, 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 awesome. Bring you forward a little bit. Hong Kong is still suffering from the radioactive fallout that I dropped on its head. We're going to bring you back to Baghdad to heal. More importantly, we're going to go ahead and grab the Echelon promotion on you. Bring some of these guys a little bit closer. Take your time to heal up. Let's bring you up to there. And you, on the other hand, this AT crew army is going to head over here to maybe look if we can do some fighting. Sure enough, I think we can. And you're going to go hang out on the spaceport until we're ready for you. And I'll just go ahead and get this guy to go to sleep. I'll cancel the drone and the mobile SAM. Instead, what I'm going to queue up in here is a uh, stock exchange, a zoo, and a broadcast center. Although, actually, I could just do campus research grants, which be which would be far more useful i think in the long run and just getting that extra little bit of science that helps you win the game the city ranged attack over here and we'll go to the next turn let's go ahead and accept that gift accept that gift and i'll go ahead and accept that gift and that gift why yes thank you very much oh you guys are so kind yes let's be friends for sure I'm not worrying too hard about optimiz optimization at this point. I think I think we've kind of won this game, and it's really just about uh, getting through the turns, finishing off Arabia, and claiming this continent for myself. So let's grab this aircraft, and we'll go ahead and bomb Aden. 
We'll grab this aircraft and we'll bomb Aiden again. And then we'll finish it off with the mechanized infantry. Shoot that guy. And let's go ahead and get vision of Sana. Do I have anything that can get in range? Not quite. So I tell you what we'll do. We'll just take some promotions. Tactical maintenance. And... Can I click on you? You've already acted. Okay. <clears throat> we will keep Aden, of course. Or Aiden or Aden. Not sure how to pronounce that. And we'll just queue up some repairs here. I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do to get this stuff repaired. Unit needs orders over here. Let's go ahead and trade for production. Probably some of my trade routes got pillaged is what's been happening. And we can, of course, uh, keep shooting these guys. We got rid of him. Let's go to Rome. We will purchase ourselves a couple more traders one there and that's it for this turn and who else needs orders my mobile sam does all righty let's go ahead and have you just fortify there it's gonna get a lot of these guys just to uh, sit still and not really worry about anything so that we can continue and win the game in a reasonable amount of time we have a bunch of nuclear missiles that we can drop on people I mean, we could very easily just go conquer the world if we wanted to. Uh, with a combination of giant death robots and nuclear missiles. Probably better off just using nuclear missiles and airplanes and ground infantry. We do have globalization now. And I think I would like to plug in globalization. I don't think I need forced mobilization anymore. We're going to go ahead and plug in e-commerce to get me a little bit more production. And gold on my trade routes and my capital. Which will hopefully result in a massive production boost in here. We're getting 91 from population. Uh, I think it actually would be very, very justified in here to get myself another neighborhood to keep uh, the population growing. There is a plus four right here. We'll do that. But first, let's make sure that we finish the nuclear device. And then we will queue up that neighborhood. Go ahead and make sure we're dealing damage to these guys. And aircraft. Let's go ahead and kill Sana. Bomb it there, take out most of its health. And then we will bomb Sana. And where is the other aircraft? There is one. Might be just out of range. Oh, it's just in range. But I'm going to rebase you because you're out of range now. I'll rebase you to Aiden. And you shall go bomb Sana. And we'll be able to take this next turn. Which is going to be exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and repair the entertainment complex in here got the research lab let's go ahead and get the airport and over here i'm not worried about any of these upgrades i don't think they are going to be hugely impactful let's keep trading you're going to fortify not really much to do with you you'll fortify here and here and we'll go ahead and get you to fortify as well It's going to put a lot of these units to sleep now as we approach the end of the game i do actually have a nuclear missile that i could drop to speed things up if i wanted to Go ahead and steal some gold from Stockholm. I think that'll be a pretty reasonable thing to do. Really? Hmm. Okay, so now I should drop next turn. And then we'll probably nuke Palenki. And then we'll piece him out and leave him with a single city. To live on into the ether. Alright, we got a moderate flood that has been mitigated by our dam. We can now do Operation Ivy. We have two nuclear devices. Let's go ahead and grab our aircraft. And we will go ahead and WMD strike Pal Palenki. Get our nice visuals here. Here comes the bomber. Get nice and close. Really just to burn the retinas, you know? Oh, look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Bam. Go ahead and let's bomb this. 
Now, I'm interested. Do you get the pillage loot? You don't get the, the loot. We'll be able to take that out next turn. We'll keep that city and we'll shoot that guy. Guy's running away, trying to escape. City goes independent in four turns. I may as well nuke that very last city and just raise it. So I need to grab one of these. I need to try and gamble on which one is going to do the thing that I need. Go ahead and queue up some repairs in this city. And we'll do the same in here. We'll just get some repair work done. Just kind of getting through the turns. Don't need to do anything with those. Just go ahead and activate you so that we can build naval raiders faster. It's not that it really matters. It looks like a city-state declared war on me. That was what that noise was, which is perfectly reasonable. I kind of regret um, <laughs> doing the aid request because now I am getting absolutely horrendously spammed. With everyone trying to be nice and give me gifts. Which, I mean, I kind of like it, but it doesn't really have an impact on my game other than to slow it down. Palanquee will be liberated. And uh, I'll probably purchase a melee unit to go and deal with uh, thingy. Oh, I don't have a melee unit. Well, we'll get a melee unit over there. Oh. Well done. Let's air attack the Navy. Where's my last one? Over here, Jet Bomber. Let's go ahead and do the WMD strike here. This one shall be a doozy. Here it comes. Wonderful. I probably could have nuked there and it would have been a little bit better to hit more stuff, but... We just want to flip this city. I'm gonna pop you in the water because I want to. I want to make sure that uh, I want to be. I want to take this city out before his last. Uh, his last city flips independent. So now we have more housing room in here. Let's go ahead and get another neighborhood. Just so we can continuously keep growing in here because we have a massive food surplus. We're going to just queue up a zoo. And a bunch of uh, campus research grants. Just to keep this city busy while we finish off the game. We'll queue up some repairs over here. And the stadium, why not? Over here, we will do that. Okay, let's queue some stuff up. Keep these cities busy. Damascus is now finally uh, in a reasonable position to start repairing some stuff. Get you back in order over time. I will start fully transporting all of my traders to my capital. Just fill it with neighborhoods. Go ahead and take these guys out so they don't cause me an issue. You may. I could, of course, purchase more trade routes, I believe. I think that is the last one that I can purchase, and it is. And there we go. There was a bit of oil down here, which uh, I could have picked up. Oh, it looks like Mongolia declared war on me, which is kind of interesting. You go send a uh, nuclear missile sub to go nuke the hell out of him. We got plenty of uranium. Might be a good idea to build a bunch of nukes to go drop on people for fun. Let's use our bombers to take out these blocking naval units. There's my other bomber. I know I have one. We want this guy to take out this city. 
Get out of here with your spec ops. All right, we built a, another neighborhood in the capital. Go ahead and grab the stadium. And over here, we are going to queue up nuclear devices. Slowly make me nukes. Yep. And over here, we've got some repair work to do. Make sure we're queuing. And go ahead and just do campus research grants to finish out the game. We've got three envoys to play with here. I don't think this really matters. Um, we could get a little bit more science out of Babylon, for example, which I think is totally fine. And we'll keep trading for production because now my capital has a wonderful 358 production. And I'm really curious. We're getting 95.7 this turn. So I'm really curious what we get next turn. We will liberate Palenque. And uh, I'm really curious. So it was 95.7. So I'm really, 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 really curious to see what we get next turn. I'll just shift enter end the turn and see. 95.7 goes up to what number when the city grows again? Religious Alliance, sure. Give me a little bit of money. Or I'll give you a little bit of money. Sure, that seems fine too. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 no. You must be eradicated. Just don't go independent yet. Okay, so we managed to perfectly time this. If there is any work in the Cybernetics. Ah, okay, we'll have to get predictive systems to find the exoplanet expedition. So, why am I doing this? What I'm doing here is, if I were to kill Arabia myself, all of these grievances would be randomly split amongst all the other players in the game. But if I take Arabia's last city, or second last city, and keep it, okay, and then I let their very, very last city go independent. So let's peace him out now. All right, make peace. You give me... All of the things and Left. probably won't give me more than like 30. I find the AI is a little bit sheepish. Oh, it's 20. Give me a little bit of aluminum. It'll give me Left. seven. So we piece him out. He has 318 grievances. So now his city, we don't get the error score, but his city is just going to flip independent and erase him. And all of those um, negative amended, negative uh, grievances just disappear. It was like I never did anything. You know what I mean? And I'll show you that next turn. That's a cute little exploit. It's a, I, would, I don't know if I would make the full argument that it's an exploit, but it's exploit-ish. Uh, let's go ahead and just work on nuclear devices in here. Keep forgetting to click the Q button. Because I have a new target, and his name is Mongolia. And we have a submarine armada that we can start dropping the bombs on him. Uh, let's see. Queue up your basic infrastructure. I feel like I clicked the Q button, but maybe I did not. Queue up all that infrastructure, although it might be a good idea to try to get the flood barrier fast in here to try to save all this land. It's probably not going to happen. Uh, the city can't do anything except maybe a project. Uh, let's just slowly work on a builder. Let's, let's rebase in a sensible fashion. It might be good to purchase an aircraft carrier as well um, to be able to move my navy. How much is it for an aircraft carrier? Aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier. Quite a bit of gold. I'm going to start telling all my units to go to sleep. I'm going to go nuke Mongolia in a few turns as well as we try to win the game. The city will flip independent and all the grievance, the grievances, grievances that are associated with me essentially get wiped off the map and I never have to uh, own up to them. Which is truly, truly amazing. 
We can double check this real quick. Let's see, he... Has... No negative happiness because I have no grievances. Grievances from other players. But Arabia is gone now. So those grievances don't exist. They just don't exist anymore. And so that negative uh, penalty goes away. Which is awesome. So I think we're going to purchase ourselves a aircraft carrier. I think the level of the aircraft carrier doesn't quite so much matter. And we're going to plant in two of these guys. I also want to get another bomber if I could. So that we can um, have a couple more bombers to assist our nuclear submarine, which is going over. Oh, did I unlock nuclear submarines? No, I should I should unlock that before this guy gets out of range of upgrading. Okay, we got the stadium up here in the capital. So let's go ahead and work on Operation Ivy so we can build the super nukes. You still have a bit of repair work to do. So we'll get to work on that. What do you have to do? You have a little bit of repair work to do as well. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm just going to get you to wait. You're going to fortify. You're fortified. You're fortified. You're fortified. You're going to pop out to here and fortify. You can't really escape. You're kind of stuck there, unfortunately. And you're going to slowly die to getting shot. Kind of sucks. You lived so long. There's no way to save you. You can't get in the water. You run this way, you'll get hit by the city. So you're just going to slowly die. Roll a chunk of gold. Uh, right, so we got the sewer in here. Let's just queue up a bunch of campus research grants just to keep the city busy until the end of the game. And similarly down here, I could build a giant death robot. That would be fun, I think. But let's go ahead and grab ourselves a another aircraft carrier. And then I want another bomber. Let's rebase you to this aircraft carrier. We're going to use nuclear submarine and aircraft carriers. And then hopefully a little bit of support in the form of these guys. Completed the airport. Let's queue up the sewer and the food market and then just go ahead and do campus research grants until the game is over. You guys don't have orders. You want to be upgraded. So we're going to park you there. You'll get upgraded next turn. Man, there's no escape route for you, is there? I mean, if you survive this shot, you can... If you survive this shot, you'll be able to get a heal, but I don't know if you're going to survive that shot. Hey, just go ahead and keep stealing money from me. There's not really much else I need you to do. Grand. We're going to go ahead and take that cash off them. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, so the, I probably could have made it out if I had ran earlier, but not really a whole lot I could do in that situation to save that spy um, scout. But, you know, he was a dead man, unfortunately. We'll renew that mission. And now we have nuclear submarines, which will use up some of our uranium. Uh, so we'll have less uranium income, but we're already making eight per turn, which is a little bit silly. We've got an aircraft carrier. Awesome. I would like to purchase myself another uh, bomber. Probably the best place to do it would be in Mecca. How much is it to purchase a bomber? Have a look here. Uh, jet bomber. It's 2,800. So let's see if we can't... There's not really much I can do. I'm going to have to wait for a spy steal. So we're going to have to finish predictive systems in order to unlock the true end game. Let's go ahead and build a thermonuclear device. That sounds like fun to me. Uh, you build a nuclear device. Let's go ahead and build a... I think we're going to just do campus research grants until you're finished. Man, I feel like I clicked the Q button and I feel like the game is just not playing nicely with the UI. I, I, I need to go back and check that footage because I feel like I'm doing things correctly, but the UI isn't responding correctly, which is a little bit frustrating. We're going to be using these guys as our capturing, our killing units, although I would actually kind of like to. I'd like to get a giant death robot to join this army too. I think that would be really fun. 
If I could get a giant death robot to come over here and help me take out Mongolia. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to land and start taking cities. But it's probably going to be like, uh, like a nuclear blitzkrieg. We are just going to nuke like every city, like three cities a turn type of thing. And then just hit them hard. I'll probably establish myself on the coastline first. And there is the exoplanet expedition. Excellent. Let's get you guys moving now. Nuclear submarine moving. Aircraft carrier moving. You're moving as well, but we're waiting to get a, a new aircraft be put on top of you. I could trade away my diplomatic favor, like to Greece, for example. Get all of his money. And then just click diplomatic favor until he's like, yes, this is a fair deal. Okay, well, that's, that's taking a while. 150. Uh, 145. 135. 25. 115. So 115 is too low. That's enough there. So that should give me enough money to purchase a bomber let's go ahead and see if we can't pick up a little bit more cash from someone so this should be quite a bit less a diplomatic favor to get that there we go and then let's talk to canada how would you like to give me all of your money let's say if i were to give you 40 of these what about 35 Here we go 38 so now we have enough money to in mecca purchase now, you do have a... Let me just double check here. You have the um, hangar and airport, which gives a lot of experience to jet fighters. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a jet bomber. And you will be joining this aircraft carrier next turn. A very modern army that we are sending <laughs> on this... Uh, crusade to the next island and again remember like this isn't really speeding up how fast we win the game this is just to keep me busy and let me have a good time okay so we could claim a great person i will take that because i want more amenities need to keep my capital happy and it is growing i forgot to check now but we're up to 109.8 production from population which is getting very silly Go ahead and rebase to this aircraft carrier. Pop you over here. Swing this way. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the UI doesn't uh, respond a little bit. It's working just fine though. Goodbye. Yes, I will accept your gift. Uh, now the question is, what cities are we going to nuke, and what cities are we just going to take? I'm thinking... We might just nuke a pair of cities to get started. I might just shoot this to get a foothold, and then nuke as I spread out. I'll vote for myself. Oh, yes. I want everyone to have the same nukes as me. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Now everyone on the map has like a stupid amount of nukes. Five nuclear devices and one thermonuclear device. Oh... Sweet baby Jesus, what have I done? Why would I do this? Oh God, oh no. The worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, let's build another nuke. Let's see, I guess I could get the food market in here and then queue up uh, a mixture of nukes to be worked on. We almost have the cash to purchase a giant death robot. 
Need 6,000. Let's go ahead and talk to Japan. Hello, Japan. Nice to meet ya. You have a lot of money. What would it take to, give, to get 4,000 gold off you? What if I gave you all of my diplomatic favor? There you go. Um, let's see. What about another great writing? Okay, the silver coin you don't want. We're going to take the broadsheet. I got to give him more stuff. 20 of this. 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 Is it, is it one of these things that's blocking it? It is. 2,900. I'll take all that gold. I don't need these great works. Give me that gold. Because that means next turn I should... I need a little bit more gold. Let's talk to Sul Suleiman, 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 Have 10 uranium. I want a little bit of your money. Here you go. Here's some great writings. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to do 450. Oh, you won't take 400. 425. Here we go. And that should mean next turn I can purchase a giant death robot to act as a... A support unit, <laughs> support unit for my invasion of Mongolia. We could actually start nuking him right now. And the sooner I get nuking, the better. We're going to thermonuke his capital, I think. That's the dream. But you guys have all your moves used up. You guys are out of range. Because that lets all the contamination to start drain away. And then we can move in and capture. Why, yes. The downside is these aircraft carriers are very, very vulnerable to air attacks. So we're going to want to be very, very careful in our positioning. You're going after Cardiff with a bombard, of all things. Amazing. It from the all right, now we can launch the Exoplanet Expedition from our capital. Let's go down to the queue here. We get started on that. We'll immediately insert a builder into it and then purchase a... Well, first, let's purchase the giant death robot. Here we go. We will send it over. Thermonuclear bomb. Where is your capital? We will thermonuke right here. That'll hit these two cities. Oh, yes. Fire it. Oh. <laughs> ah. The wrath of the potato is something terrifying to behold. Hello. Yes, there we go. Let us continue to drop... The bomb. Like casually committing war crimes. Proceed. <laughs> I've never gone on a nuking spree before. I don't know why, but it's really fun. I've just never seen the point or the need. Look at that city. 
Get eviscerated. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's all we can reach this turn. That's fine. Uh, so we want to get up here to off-world mission. Let's go ahead and repair the stock exchange in here. Repair the coal power plant. You can just hang on. I don't really have a mission for you right now. We'll capture Tulu and then back out and heal. Oh, maybe we should liberate Tulu. Oh, maybe we should liberate it. Oh, that's even better. Oh, I'm sorry about nuking your city, France. My bad. <laughs> oh. Oopsie. Liberate. <laughs> oh, man. Drop a nuke on Aksu. I didn't realize you could just completely obliterate someone's nation in a single turn. That's crazy. I never appreciated the power of nukes until my last couple of playthroughs. <laughs> Vancouver, is that Canada? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we've already got a few. We've already got three more nukes. We've already got two in the bank. Can I get more nukes? Excuse me. Where are my nuclear missiles? Am I making them? Uh, go ahead and get me a mixture of these things. Get me a nuclear device. Uh... Get me a bunch of nukes. Giant death robot. Off you go. Giant death robots, nuclear missiles. What else do you want in life? Oh, we're even gonna pillage stuff just to be annoying. Just keep stealing money from me to fuel my economy. Oh, I should be purchasing builders to finish that a little bit quicker. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess there's one more episode in this series um, where we just obliterate Mongolia and, uh, you know, I guess send our people off into space because now the planet is a radioactive wasteland after all that stuff I've done to it. Amazing. Amazing. Grab Ulan Batar. And... We shall continue this in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.